Good morning. Today we find ourselves in one of the least used train stations in the UK in a small village called Bottisford. So I wanted to do things a little bit differently today. I wanted to showcase some of the UK to my viewers. Now, if like me, you're from a larger city, you will know that life can be very different from what it is like here in a small country village. So today I hope to show you what life is like in a small place like this and what perhaps one of the least visited places or villages in the UK actually looks like and what life's like here on a day-to-day -day basis for the people who live here. So let's have a closer look see what it's like. So Bottisford is a small village which lies between Grantham where Margaret Factor was born of all places and Nottingham. So essentially it's a small village nestled in between these two places. So why Bottisford? Well I decided to come here to explore what is known to be one of the less visited places and to see what life is like here. So for instance we can see that in Bottisford we have a lot of uh, a lot of village style meetings and a lot of village style life, a council, a parish council and indeed life here is a lot slower paced. The people are friendlier than in Peterborough where I'm from and everyone is uh, just going about their daily business. It's Saturday today but you wouldn't think so would you? <laughs> Let's have a closer look. So one thing I didn't expect to find in a small quaint English countryside village is a uh, is a swamp. I must admit uh, that's quite quite charming in its own way. Um, you know, not quite what I picture when I watch Shrek, but nonetheless, still uh, yeah. Don't want to be stumbling over there if I've had a few too many pints down the local village pub. But uh, we're coming up to now what is quite an old church. It's quite a small, quaint one, quite similar to where me and my wife got married. And um, you'll find a lot of these traditional small churches throughout UK villages. And uh, what people tend to do is on a Sunday is they'll congregate for family events or church ceremonies. Without reading the local census, I could probably tell you that this is a majority Christian place. Um, or perhaps Church of England or Atheist, but here we see a rather beautiful church. And this is essentially the heart of the, the, the village, really. This is where uh, a lot of the people will meet, gather, share stories and, uh, and get to meet once a week. So behind me you can see people are enjoying a barbecue um, and that's what that's what it's really about in the UK. Um, people often forget that it's about community spirit, it's about you know local values and things like that. So Bottisford was originally mentioned in the Doomsday Book actually, uh, it's a rather old place and Picture it like this. We've got the old riverbanks and the sandy shores of Bottisford, or what was a nameless patch of land. And people came along and they found the land and they were like, this is a good place. Fertile soil, great to farm on, great to make a living, great to start a family. And so a small community was started here and as time went by, they gradually started to build and increase the size of the village until they made a small church. And that's where more and more people would come and live here and a bigger community was built. And it's just crazy to think that such a quaint small place like this was once nothing more than a small patch of sand and mud where people strolled onto and they decided to make a home and a life for themselves. 
So as you can see, plenty to do for the locals, plenty of community things going on. And very much a local community spirit, something that's lacking in the, uh, in the larger cities in the UK. We're from Peterborough and uh, we don't have anything like that. Well, we do, but community, community events are very rarely used, really. Um, it's more by the older generation. So as you can see, the community spirit is still very much alive with little events like this and very much a unique and peaceful way of life, which again, on a Saturday for someone from Peterborough is uh, quite the departure. <laughs> so this is what we could regard as traditional village architecture in the UK. Quaint cottages, small gated sections, a real community spirit, a community vibe, so to speak. And over here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a Ford, which is quite a rare thing, but uh, cars can drive through that. Do make sure to check your brakes when you do that. And we're actually staying here in this uh, small little cottage, just this uh, red building just here. And uh, we actually have some chickens and some dogs keeping this company. So villages in the UK, they're often overlooked by tourists, which is of course a good thing because once a place becomes touristic, it can lose its charm somewhat. But uh, I think if you're a local in the UK, you should try and visit the smaller villages where you can. It's quite common for us in the UK to go on a caravan holiday to say Skegness or Great Yarmouth or wherever you may be from, <laughs> perhaps, uh, what's that place called? Um, I'll put it down, <laughs> put it down below when I remember. Um, but we're more likely to stay in them kind of places where we decided to book a cottage in a, somewhere a little bit different and the vibe here completely changes. So uh, I personally recommend it. Um, for me, I think the key thing is, is that, I mean, to, to be honest, when I visit different countries, coming to think of it, I tend to go to the less kind of, I try and go off the beaten trail. I go to the bigger, bigger places, but I do try and go off the beaten trail and I do try and see what life is like within the places that people live. And I do think if, uh, if you're visiting the UK as a tourist, perhaps this is something that you may want to come and experience as well from a perspective of, uh, you know, what life in the UK can be like. But as you can see, it's rather beautiful. I mean, you don't really see that everywhere on a day-to-day -day basis. Good morning, how are you? And it's quite quick to get round the local village. I think uh, all in all to circle the place, it's taken me possibly half an hour, but think of it like this. You take your car, you drive to a local village, you pick up some picnic bits and you sit by this bank here and you enjoy the fine flowing river listen to the birds and the trees, be with nature. And I think that's important for all of us because I think, especially with city life, when you're in the city for so long, it can become quite jading to, to be in the same places, surrounded by smog and people that don't really want to talk to you. But when you get out here and a smile from a stranger and a nod and the feeling of a community spirit, that's something that I feel we need to get back to in the UK. You know, I think community is very important. And, you know, I think these places have it right. So why should you visit a place that no one else visits? Well, it's for the charm, if anything. Look at that. Would you see that in London, Birmingham, Manchester? No, you wouldn't. And that's why it's important to go off the beaten trail within your your own country. So perhaps you might be from, uh, let's say Bosnia, for instance, because I went there recently. 
a lot of the surrounding country villages hold a lot of tradition a lot of heritage a lot of uniqueness and the people are a lot more open and warm and friendly and that's not to say people in the city aren't but the friendliness is different here and i think experiencing that for yourself is a uh, is a treat within itself so it's been quite a nice little uh, visit having a look around the local place and just seeing the community spirit so i definitely think you should give it a go um it's not often i get to look around the uk but i'm glad i have and uh you know i, I came here and i thought should i vlog should i capture this on camera and i'm glad i have because i think the uk is is not properly represented i think a lot of people think the uk as you know this uh yeah well, it depends where you're from i guess i guess certain places think we're all about tea and crumpets which i guess kind of this this is um whereas a lot of people may think that we're like you know uh, they may watch london gangster films and think we're all about that but actually we're quite a multifaceted country there's a lot going on here and i think it's important to dig through the layers and see what we're about um and i hope that this has given you an insight into what life can be like in the uk and uh whether you're from the uk yourself or whether you're from a different part of the world try to get out of your city and have a look around and if you are indeed from this part of you know, if you're in a small village where you live whether that be abroad or whether that be in the uk appreciate the smaller things because when you live in a big t city or a town and there's no more community spirit and there's no more soul and the people aren't as together you realize how how much that means and how much you know you want that and i think uh for me i think the quaint beauty of a place like this and the, the general atmosphere is, is enough for me to to want to showcase it to people so again if you're in the UK right now jump in your car go to your nearest village go and support the local people go and support the local businesses and most importantly go and explore and see what the UK is like beyond the caravan parks and beyond the big cities and of course the same thing as well if you're from say Bosnia or if you're from Albania or Macedonia or wherever you're from Try and come out of the beaten trail and go and explore where you're from in terms of the smaller villages and you might be surprised you know the uh the general atmosphere changes between places and again if you're from those type of places then uh i hope you're enjoying it i hope you're loving it because it's uh, a fantastic experience and uh not one that you get all too often so uh yeah i really appreciate you joining me on today's video i hope this has inspired you to go and look around uh where you're from and hopefully if you're from outside the uk you'll be a bit more intrigued to go look around country villages and see what life is like but thank you for joining me hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you very soon